there's a brother that he tried to to do business with wrong people. They took money, but I'm just hearing about fifty thousand. Uh, he doesn't trust anybody. I'm just hearing about fifty thousand. They took your money, and then now you don't know whether you're supposed to move forward with the business or what. And then already you are in the verge of you don't know whether you can carry on with them or what. And then you can lose a lot of money. I want you to come forward here. Hmm. Where is the brother? Can you come forward? You put money, some money already in the business. But you don't know whether you're supposed to carry on. But it seems as if these people, yeah, this is the brother, come. Yes. I want you to withdraw from wrong people. Are you hearing me? Amen. Uh, God is going to fight for you. Amen, daddy. It's then you will prosper. Amen, daddy. Are you hearing me? Amen. You're going to prosper. I receive that. Because you gave people money. And you, now you are together. And now they will demand more. And you will lose everything. Amen. Uh, don't cry. God loves you. He's going Amen. to fight for you in Jesus' name. Uh, my name is Msawe Nkosi. I come from Deben. Uh, I want to confirm the prophecy to be true. Uh, I have a company where uh, I inv uh, invested 50,000 to these guys. So now I've got a problem. They, they can't repay me so that I will be also be able to pay other investments that I have. So yeah, it's true. And how did it affect you? It affected me so much. Because I, I myself was supposed to pay other people, so I was expecting this money to come so I would be able to sort these things out. So only to find now everything is draining, is on me. So I believe that as the man of God prophesied, the God have already made a way for me. And how are you feeling right now as the man of God has prayed for you and you are free? Honestly, I, I'm feeling relieved because I, I had a stress uh, on me, so... Even my shoulders, I'm light now. There's a, a lady that, I don't know what happened in the issue of pregnancies, it's here now. It's on the side here. Always when you have a pregnant, they say it's on your side. Now, the second one, they say it's in your side. It seems as if they always clean you. I want you to have a child, come out here, I'll pray for you. Who's crazy here? Yeah. There's crazy. Also, I want to pray for you because of the business breakthrough that is coming to you. But there's also this lady who's having a problem here. They say the pregnants come this side. Can you just come out very fast? My child is, stay, is staying this side. Man. It stays this side? Yes. So, and it's not the first time they tell you yes. that the child stays this side. Yes. God is, is healing you now. We need this child to go to the right place in Jesus' name. Amen. So you are becoming sick. You are becoming more sick, isn't it? Yes. Sometimes you feel like you fall down. Yes. Eh? Yes. Just walk now. You feel free. Just walk. Just walk and test yourself. Just walk. Just walk. You are free. Just, just walk. Ten. 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 You are free. You are free. The child will go back to the position. Yes. Yes, uh. It's okay. Um, a prospect. It's a prospect. Eh, is it a good thing to do? Thank you. 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 Yeah, I always I feel the pain. Go to the nurse, onga, paga, go, 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 And then, what doctor? What are you What doctor? What are you doing? All right, you turn mind your check. And then, you pay pants. But I feel pain. Go to the nurse, onga, jar, look, feeling up. But I'm going to say to you, what's going on? No, you're not going to pass. But this is what I'm going to say. I'm going to say, 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 I'm you are dreaming. You are dreaming strange dreams. Yes, I dream strange. Eh? Yes, it's Sometimes true. you dream people praising you. Yes, it's true. Eh? Yes. And you wake up very tired. Yeah, most of the time, yes. Eh? Yes. And there's something that moves here in you. Yes. Like want to block you here. Yes. Let me pray for you.
Come on, you team up, come on. Ouch! Ouch! In the name of Jesus. Ouch! Live it. Live it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Out in the name of Jesus. If we, we don't take this thing out, this thing will kill this lady one day. Out in Jesus' mighty name. Put her down to vomit this thing. She will feel vomiting. She's free after that. My name is Lise, I'm from Pretoria, and I want to confirm the prophecy that I have bad dreams whereby I, feel, I, I dream being pressed down, and um, this thing moves up and down in me. So, yes, it's true, I've been having dreams whereby it feels like something is pressing me down and trying to strangle me. And every morning I would like wake up very tired. Um, I thank Jesus today that I'm free because the man of God today prophesied and also prayed for me. Now I am free. I'm delivered. How are you feeling right now as the man of God has spoken unto your life? I feel very light. I feel very light. It's like something has just moved. I don't know, but I feel very, very light. Thank you. Where is the lady you want to marry? She's here. Huh? She's here. Huh? She's here. The short lady? Yes. You are, you, are, you are giving up. Huh? Yes. Your spirit is giving up. When did you celebrate a birthday? B her birthday. Your birthday. On the 3rd of February. 3rd? Yes. So that time you are going to enjoy because I see you celebrating her birthday. Huh? Yes. You celebrated a birthday. Yes. So in your birthday, something will happen. Financially, you will receive finance. Come, come. To marry. Bring her. You want to marry? Uh, my name is Tony Radamba. I come from Tembisa. Uh, the man of God was speaking about uh, the marriage issue, which is very true. As he also stated that she's a short lady, uh, the confirmation is very true. The man of God spoke about you giving up. Yes, because in my vision lately I was, I was seeing delay, so I was starting to be discouraged. But I believe after today uh, I'm free. And he also spoke about your finances. There was also delay. But I also believe that a financial breakthrough is coming. And how are you feeling right now as the man of God has spoken about the things that were really bothering you? Uh, I feel relieved. As the word says, the Lord is spirit. Where there's the spirit of the Lord, there's liberty. I feel liberty. And I feel blessed. Words of encouragement to young people out there. Trust in God, as the word says, those who trust in the Lord, they shall never put to shame, but they shall prosper. Delight upon the Lord and wait upon the Lord. It will work. Thank you. Sir. God bless. Are you a Christian? Huh? Are you a Christian? Yes, yes. Yeah? Yes. Sir. So you're not smoking? I said yes. Huh? Yes. You say yes, what? Are you asking me if I'm a Christian? Huh? You say what? Jesus. Jesus. I can't hear you. I said yes. Yes, what? You asked me if I'm a Christian. I said yes. Are you not smoking? No, no, no. no. You're not smoking? No, I don't smoke. You were smoking before? No, I never smoke in my You place. never smoke? No. Because if God blesses you, you must know that what happens in your family. 
Okay. It's a family of drunkards. So you are born in a wrong family. So you can be a blessing to prove everybody wrong. So if you want to live a Christian life, you can tell yourself that I want to be an example in the family. And it will happen. You are free. Oh, my name is Patuan Calvin Shibuya. I come straight from uh, Lepompo. I come from Venda. Yeah, what I can say is that, uh, what I can confirm is that the, pro the prophecy is true. Because when it, I, look, I look at my family, because uh, the, 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 the prophet said to me, the man of God said to me, he um, uh, uh, asked me if I'm a Christian, then I said yes, but then he asked me, all right, there are great blessings that I'm going to bring to my family. So I have to be very honest with God and I need to work for God. I need to be sure of what I'm doing. I need to be in spirit so that the blessings that comes, God can be able to use me in a truthful manner so that I can bring blessings to my family because I come with held with blessings for my family. And I can confirm it because there have been a lot of stagnation in my family, but now I believe there's going to be a lot of uh, elevation and breakthrough. The man of God spoke about in your family uh, people drinking and smoking. Are you aware of those people? Uh, in my in my in my like the circle in my family where I come from, uh, we, we don't we don't we don't really drink. But then in the, I can say the relatives around me, especially when I look at the side of my mother's side, yeah, uh, um, my siblings like uh, the brothers, my uncles, they're the ones who drink a lot. So I, I strongly believe it, it's, it's true because such things can affect the family as well. But in my own family, we don't really we don't drink. And how are you feeling right now as the man of God has given you awareness of what to be aware of if God blesses you? Now I'm fully aware that God is really at work and I believe in the power of God at work. So I believe that coming here, it has brought me to encounter God in a greatest level. And I believe this is the holy place where I, uh, we experience the power of God. So I believe things are going to change and I believe uh, my family is going to be delivered and there's going to be a lot of transformation in my family and there's going to be a lot of uh, breakthrough and success. Yeah, so the spirit of delay and everything is going to be destroyed and I believe in the power of God to work in my family and I believe that I'm going to bring the, f I'm going to bring the blessings to my family. Once I enter there, there's going to be a lot of changes. Brother, I'm seeing you fighting. I'm seeing you fighting with someone. You yes. Think, eh? Yes. And it happens a long time ago. Yes. Eh? Yes. And this thing brought a curse on you. Yes. Since then, your things are mixed up. Yes, huh? it's true. Whatever you try, it goes down. Yes. Huh? Yes. We people, you fight and there was blood. Yeah. You remember? Yes, I remember. I want to set you free. You are free. My name is Avalon Goveni. I'm from Amanskral. I just received a prophecy now from the man of God telling me that he saw a fight. Yeah, I can confirm the prophecy to be true because it was something that happened very long time ago when I, when I was living an ungodly life. Yeah, actually someone even when we were fighting even stabbed me and I also fight with people. I used to fight with them until I see blood. How did it affect you? Like... Then, because I was not living a godly life or a Christian life, like everything was cut out, I couldn't do anything, but I had dreams, visions in my life to do, to do big things, but I couldn't because of the life I was living. And today the man of God has spoken unto you regarding something that was really happening in your life. How are you feeling? I feel relieved because from my family side, there's nothing going on. And they were, my sister also is sick. I believe the prophecy has brought breakthrough from my family. And my, my child also, who's going to have an operation tomorrow, I believe everything is under God's control. How are you feeling right now? After everything, the prayer, the, the, the deliverance, what do you believe that God has started doing? I believe everything is starting to fold up now because I believed when I came here that today is going to talk to me. 
I even started fasting from yesterday. I also had challenges from work whereby they are trying to conspire against me. But I started fasting from yesterday. I said, even today, I'll continue my fasting until the man of God talks to me. But it is by the grace of God. It is not by fasting or whatever. But I believe it is the, it is the day that the Lord has made. Thank you. Thank you. Where's your father? Huh? <laughs> Where's your father? My father is at home. Huh? At home in Limpopo. So we need to pray for him, eh? Okay. Yeah, because I see your father is starting to be sick now. Yeah, he's very sick. He's very, very sick now. Yes. And something wrong can happen. And you are worried. You are here, but your mind is home. Exactly. Huh? Exactly, man so of God. So pray for you. Go we heal your father. Ya frito. Okay, my name is Tavo Rakalakan. I'm from uh, Metren. I'm from Metren Friendship Town. So the moon of God just prophesied to me that my father back at home is very much sick. And on my way here I was wondering and worried about him because he is very, very frequently sick. So the prophecy man of God uh, gave me today is very true. It, it affected me because uh, really I can say uh, 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 I'm very much happy because the man of God located me with the very same thing that made me to come here today. How are you feeling? I'm very much happy that he, he managed to locate me and then prayed for me and my father as well. You see, you are so much lonely. Sorry, sir. You are so much lonely, there's nobody who's helping you. Yes, man of God. You are just, and this thing is not happening to you alone. To every member of the family. You people here, it's like you are separated. Yes, man of God. And, there's, there's another, another one is there. Another one is there. Another one is there. Yes, man of God. There's a, there's a snake. It's an electrified snake that comes and choke, choke me when I'm sleeping. And it takes me to the ocean. I Actually, you are lonely, no one is helping you. Yes, man of God. Eh? It's true. It's true, prophet. But even, no, stand up. Even what you are telling me, you are the, you are the cause of it. Yes, man. Because you, you search for, to be empowered. Yes, man of God. Eh? You went to a spiritualist to empower you. And it results on this. So this spirit was yes, supposed, man. before it used to come to sleep with you. Yes, man of God, it does. That's eh? what it does, man of God. It comes to sleep with me. Now, now you are finished. Yes, Nobody is helping you. Yes, man of God. Eh? Yes, man of God. To me, you are like you are HIV positive. When yes. I look at you, because your blood is finished here. Yes, man of God. I'm eh? drained. I'm drained, man of God. It's true. So, because you are not like this. So, God loves you. We need to take this thing away. You are the one, you are the cause of it. Please, Jesus, forgive me. You wanted to be empowered so that when you do business, you prosper. It started from there. And now Satan took over you. So you'll be free today. Yes, man. Thank you, man. You hear me? Thank you, sir. So you, you will see tonight when you go to sleep, yes, nothing sir. will happen to you. Thank you, man of God. And there was a lady you were involved with. I've been involved with a lot of ladies. The short lady. You remember the short lady? The short lady. Yes, like this. She was not well. She used to tell you I'm not well. When you went to meet her, she just said I'm not well. It doesn't ring a bell, man of God. I don't remember her. Yeah, it's a long time. So you are healed. My name is Liza Lise. I originally come from Eastern Cape. Currently, I'm staying in Foy's North Court. About the prophecy, yes, the prophecy is true. The man of God said that uh, I have no one to help me. And also, 
there's something that I've done. I've consulted a witch doctor to actually help me uh, w w to help me with my business. So and also he spoke about uh, the woman that I was about to sleep with, and then she said that she's not well, and then we continued anyways. So I want to confirm the prophecy to be true. Number one, I grew up suffering from this spirit which comes to me in, when I'm asleep. This spirit will come actually to choke me and press me down. I couldn't breathe. And also, I just want to add a little side note that my, actually um, my mother is a witch doctor and my uncle is a witch doctor. I grew up in that family. So therefore, I believe that maybe that's why, or that's what motivated this. And also the spirit maybe is coming from that. So basically the reason why I did go to the internet and went and consult the clavo clavoyant. So because I was suffering myself because of the spirit, I don't know where it came from. I tried everything in life, it's not working. So I had to do something. I, was, I knew that the problem was spiritual, but I didn't know how to solve the problem. So I went to many churches, no help. So I, I went to the internet, I, I subscribed to the cl clavoyants. Um, so that prophecy is true. I went to consult because I was suffering. The spirit was already there by that time. So I grew up with it. It would come to me and sleep with me. Physically, I would have diseases, you see. So I was tortured almost every day. I didn't know what to do. So that's what happened to me. So which, which is why I went to that internet and consult. And then about the woman, I know the woman, uh, the short woman, that's the last woman that I've been with. After that, I decided, I said, let me call this thing off and follow Jesus, you know. Yeah, the woman is short, she's from KwaZulu Natal, she works in Santin, she lives in Rambek. I remember that moment where we were about, we were about to have intercourse and then she told me that she's on a period. And then I said, no, I cannot be with you if you are that way. And then she told me that it's okay, no problem. You tried to check on the internet that actually you can do it even if you, you're bleeding. So I, because she said so, because she wanted to, so then I decided to proceed. With it. So the prophecy is totally true. Uh, I've been suffering. I did all those things. But it came as a result. This thing, my reason for consulting is because I was trying to fight the spiritual entity. So I couldn't fight it otherwise. I didn't know how. I've tried everything. In all these things, in all these things that you were coming across in life, and as you said that they have started while you're still a very young boy, how did they really affect you? It really affected me a lot. I was abused. No, I was a isolated person as a child. So therefore, I was abused by my friends. I was abused by my uncle. So uh, I didn't know my father until I was 18. So my mother was in a village or around whilst I was growing up. I grew up in my mother's side. So I grew up in a very broken family relationship. So I, I suffered from my friend, didn't like me. So I was just a, a loner, basically. I was always alone. So um, nothing came, came to pass. Everything comes slow to me. Everything that I try to do to actually enrich myself or self-sustain self myself. It really never worked. So I, um, I really, because I, I can see the, the, the attacks in the spirit. I can see the, the spirit would manifest itself in different things. Sometimes it would be a bird, or it would be a cat, or it would be a woman. Or last week, just last week on Sunday, it came to me as an electrified snake. There was a snake in a spiritual realm surrounded by, by flares of of electricity so when I try to touch it and then it burns to fire and also I, I, I've seen a lot of action. How are you feeling right now? <sighs> right now I'm feeling um, uplifted my, my hope is ris has risen. You have a demon you, you have a spiritual husband you have a spiritual husband that is bringing delay in your life you hear me? Yeah. Things are very tough. True. Eh? True. And uh, you have tried everything. He is disappointment. He is disappointment. True. He is disappointment. I see three disappointments in your life. So you are going to be free today. Amen. Uh, 
Uh, my name is Calvinia Patela. Um, I come from Alexander. Uh, the prophecy that I've received today is that um, I have a, a demon, a spiritual husband, and I can confirm that to be true because I often have dreams of um, it's either a lady or a man would be, you know, sleeping with me or touching me in certain ways. How did it affect you? Well, um, I would say when every day, like when I wake, if that if that happens every day when I wake up, then I would you know wake up very tired and don't feel like doing anything. I just wanna have sleep. And how are you feeling right now? As the man of God has prayed for you, um, I feel very light and happy that um, I have been set free, and I believe that um, everything now will go according to God's plan. Yes. Thank. You. Thanks. Where is your husband? Huh? Is that work? I spoke with you last time. Yes. Concerning a baby? No. Concerning what? Concerning hatred. And yes. you, you asked my husband. So there's a baby that is coming to you. I receive. You hear me? Yes. Mm. Thank I'm you telling Jesus. you now. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. You hear me? Yes. There's a boy that's coming. Thank you, Jesus. The boy. I receive. Amen. Were you not dreaming a child? No, my husband said I was pregnant. I said he's lying. I'm not pregnant. He said? He said I'm pregnant. Your husband? Yes, he said he saw me pregnant. Ah. So he said your husband is the one who's dreaming. You're not, yourself, you're not dreaming. You don't pray. <laughs> no. You're not praying. Are you praying? Yes, not really. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yes. So, what is happening here? Sorry. What is happening in your stomach? In my stomach. Yeah. I feel pain sometimes. Pains. Yes. Sometimes I feel movement. So, what is, what kind of movement is that? Sorry. What kind of movement is this one? I don't know. God has done it for you. Thank you. My name is El Singoven. I'm from Ivory Park. The prophecy that I received from the man of God, actually it's like a confirmation because a certain pastor around December told me that he sees a fruit of the womb. But because that pastor is my friend, I'm used to him. I just laughed at him. Secondly, my husband early February told me that I was pregnant. So I confirm it to be true. When my husband said I was pregnant, I said, ah, leave me alone, I'm not pregnant. As you can see, I'm wearing a secret slim. Can a pregnant woman wear a secret slim? Never. So I confirm it to be true. Like, and I had movement in my body, even morning sickness. But because I was denial, I just denied it. <laughs> I just denied it. I confirm it to be 100% true. And confirmation. And how are you feeling right now? And for how many months or years have you been searching for a baby? Uh, since I got married in 2015, in fact, I have no baby for my husband. The ones that I have is not for him. So this is truly a blessing. That's why the man of God said, God has done it for me. Indeed, he has done it for me. And how did it affect you not, you not having this baby? Oh, I felt as if my husband was starting, because he was always talking about a baby, a baby, a baby, a baby. And I, and I said, I, I buy me a car first, buy me a house first, around Kauteng. I was like, I felt like he was starting to get tired, you know, yeah. But how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling happy, <laughs> even if I was denial. Now that my father has confirmed it, I am so happy, I believe it. Oh, yeah. We give glory to Jesus. Amen. You must not give up, are you hearing me? Amen. Uh, because where you are working, there are many issues. What are you doing? Amen. Huh? Yes, it's not true. It's true. Dude. And uh, you people... I don't know. You're always frustrated. Yes, Dad, huh? it's true. You are, you are just working there because of your heart. Yes, Dad. Huh? Yes. You are, in fact, you are no longer there, but because there's no way you can go. Stop crying. Okay. God wants to fight for you. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. Uh, you are going to give us a testimony. These people who are oppressing you. you will leave you. Amen. Because you, you, want, you want another job. Huh? Yes, yes, dear. It's not true. It's true. You are trying to search for another job. It's true. You are blessed. 
you give us a testimony. When I'm praying for you, I'm praying with everyone who's searching for a job here. Thank you. You hear me? And on the 27th year that is coming, you hear me? Yes. You'll be celebrating. Okay. So you, you, you just have to keep yourself. Keep yourself. And you close your ears. You understand? Yes. From these people from outside. Eh? Yes. Dad. And you believe God can give you a husband in the church. Thank you, sir. Eh? Thank you, Dad. Uh, my name is Tuli Zwangaile. I'm coming from Tulisa Park at South Hills. Uh, the man of God gave me a word of, of prophecy. Uh, that I've been looking for a job, I've been searching for a job, and I've been frustrated, and I haven't been sleep. So it's true. What the man of God told me, it is true. I've been searching for a job, and there's the call that called me. They told me that I got a job. I applied last year, but when I'm calling them back, they didn't answer the phone. So I decided to just leave it like that. How did it affect you? It affected me a lot, because at night I couldn't sleep at all. I would be, think I would be thinking, when I will get a job because I've been applying and then I will not get any job. How are you feeling right now? Now I'm so happy that the man of God has encouraged me. I'm so encouraged right now. Thank you. Thank you. I see someone dead. You people bury someone in your family. It's like you've been burying, burying people. No. Huh? No. So there's a spirit of funeral that is coming to your family. Mommy told me about his dream last huh? week, Mommy. Your mama? Yes. But you say no. No, we well, didn't bury anyone. So now it's coming. If you didn't bury, it's coming. Because I see people burying people. You come back, you jump a week, you come in. Your mama said what? He said, she said he saw daddy being dead. Huh? She said she saw daddy. Referring to your father? Yes. Uh, so you bury this one. After two weeks, three weeks, you come and bury another one. Well, they want to kill people in your family. So let's stop it now. In Jesus' name. How can I come and say, I'm seeing uh, the issue of um, people die being buried? And you say, oh, no, whereas you heard that, already mama told you that I'm dreaming your father dead. And then, uh, let's take now, we keep quiet. This is the person that will come and say, what you said is true, my father is dead. Yeah. I won't pray for you. I won't pray for you and stop it. Pray for you here, we are stopping the funeral. You understand? My name is Lebron Chilwane. I'm coming from Vegas Fort, but here I stay in Winnie Mandela, Zone 4. The prophecy that I received today from the man of God is true because last month they buried the son of my uncle. Then my mother told me that she saw a dream, dreaming my father being dead. Yes. And how did it affect you? It affects me spiritually because I was afraid that one day I will see my father dead. And how are you feeling right now as the man of God has prayed for you? Now I'm happy because I know that the man of God has cancelled the spirit of death in my family. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. The problem of your mom is starting now with you. You start to have a, a dry leg. You are starting to have a problem with the leg. Yeah, it's true. Uh, huh? It's true, man of God. The leg is becoming dry, and this is the problem of uh, mama. Yeah, it's true. It's not true. Now it's like, it's, well, it's, it wants to be a generational care. When you grow up to 40, you have problems. The whole body, you are sick. Yeah, it's so, true. Uh? Even so, my eyes. Uh, even your eyes like now. Like my mother. Like your mother. Yes. This is the problem of your mom, whatever you are going through. So I'm stopping it now in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm stopping it now in Jesus' name. Look, look at her, look at her, look at her there. You see, it's a spirit. Look what she's doing there. Look what she's doing. Out! You demon! It's a spirit, this thing. 
What are you doing to her? I can't hear you. You generational curse. You demon of generation. What are you doing? I can't hear you. What are you doing to her? What are you doing to that leg? I want her dead. You want her dead? Yes. You see that? Huh? Yes. You want her dead? Let me not waste time with you. Uh, it's over with you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Okay, my name is Palisa Nkuna. I'm, I'm from Kiani, Lipompo, Eco Park. But I'm based here at Jobek, Tembisa, Ivory. So the first that I've got today from the man of God, it was uh, my spirit of my mother, a uh, spiritual case. Uh, like I'm having a problem with my stomach through the legs. And then my eyes, it's true. What I get to the, from the man of God is true. I've got that uh, problem. And my mother, when she was uh, alive, she was having the same problem until she died. And how did it affect you? Let's speak with your eyes because I can see your eyes are uh, kind of like black. Yes. Yeah, it's true. It's like uh, this thing started when I was uh, at standard six. Now I was became like uh, during the day when I'm at school. Sometimes I, I was not feeling myself well. Sometimes I don't see well and it's getting worse. I've been to the hospital. I've been to the, uh, I mean, churches, all the churches. But uh, there was no avail, actually. So from what I, I've loved about this church, ne, like uh, Derry and Mami said that uh, this is the year of Jupiter. It's true. I've been coming here to this church ne, since uh, 2011. Then uh, I quit. Then I came back again. Then uh, continue praying, all the stuff. But this year, it's my first time uh, receiving the... Prophecy, this is the second time of, especially this month, uh, yes. And how are you feeling? I feel very glad, I'm so happy because I, think, I see that uh, my life is getting more better, that uh, God has been uh, interfered to my life, then I will see, I will be happy, 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 more and happy. Thank you. Okay. Where's your daughter? Oh, no, no, I'm precisely. Allow me to, I say, I want to do a film of encouraging Christian. So, I want that girl. What is that girl? Donia. Call that Donia. But that girl needs to pray. She's not praying. Donia. So, those people who want to. Yes, this is the girl. I want you to, to be an actor. Amen. You hear me? Yes, Daddy. An actor that will be, fav will be known here. <laughs> Out, you spirit of Satan. Come on. She can go far, but this spirit is of limitation. <laughs> stand, stand here. This spirit must leave you. It's a spirit of stagnation. It doesn't want you to be anything. The spirit must leave you. Come on! Ouch! In Jesus' name. You are free, you are free. My name is Levea Dania. I'm 22 years of age. I'm from Win Mandela Zone 8. What Daddy has said is true. Um, I've always knew that acting is my career. It's what I've, I'm born to do. So, yeah, it's confirmed today that I should follow that path. And, and how are you feeling as the man of God has spoke to you? I feel much relieved now because I know which path to take right now. So, yeah. Thank you. Sister, you? you? Yes. There's a spirit of stroke. That is following you. Come on, you demon. It's a demon, this thing. Lift her up.
the spirit of stroke. Always you feel like in your head. Eh? Yes, man of You feel God. tight here. Yes. Eh? Yes. And you begin to feel lumb. Yeah, even sometimes I can't move that. You can't move, eh? Yes. Come on. The spirit of Satan. Come on. Jesus' name. Jesus, my name. My name is Noctula Paramela. I'm coming from Springs. And confirm the prophecy. The prophecy was, uh, um, I've seen a someone who is going to be attacked by the stroke, as I understand, because always I've got a serious headache overnight, and then sometimes my body stiff, especially this side, cannot move properly. The arm sometimes is so difficult even now to move, as if I was carrying a heavy thing, you see. How did it affect you? It does affect me, because... I'm, 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 I'm a teacher by professional, so I can't even move some of the things, you see. And I become so exhausted for no apparent reason. I feel like sleeping sometimes. Sometimes even if to 10 when I sleep is so, so difficult for me. It seems as if I have to stay on one side, you see, up until then. When I wake up in the morning, I feel that I'm, 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 I'm exhausted because I couldn't have a, 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 a nice, it's a sleepless nice. Sleep this nice, actually. And how are you feeling right now as the man of God has spoken unto you? No, by now I'm, I'm feeling great because, yeah, um, I'm, I'm, I'm just like a person who has no, nothing before. Because I said everything was heavy, but now I feel like running, running, running. Thank you. Yes. Not, I'm not married. But it's not only you in your family. Yes. This is a spirit that is hitting the whole family. Yes. So you, you can be used as a point of contact today to set the whole family free. In Jesus' name. Uh, my name is Fulupero Sadike. I'm from Tembisa. Uh, the man of God prophesied to me and said that, he, in, in fact, he asked me, Where's my husband? And I said, I'm not married. So he said to me, it's a spirit, it's a spirit for the family. So I confirm, I confirm this, the, the, the prophecy to be true, because it's true. Uh, no one is married in the family. Only one brother is married. Uh, in fact, I'm divorced. I was married, but I'm divorced. So I confirm the prophecy to be true. How are you feeling? Uh, I feel happy about the prophecy. And I believe I'm delivered. And yeah. Things will go for me. Thank, <laughs> Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Brother, please just come. This brother. I saw you going to the toilet, struggling. And this thing is starting to be like, you are starting to have problem with toilet issue. It's hot. Huh? It's hot. It's hot here. Yeah. Eh? And then when you go to the toilet, I'm just you sitting for a long time struggling and now you have this thing this can relate you have, you, have, you have got acid in you are you aware no. you don't know you are free My name is Pato Cheza. I'm from Pretoria West and I'm here to confirm the prophecy of the man of God. He called me and said um, he saw me sitting in the toilet for some time and it's been difficult for me. And I confirmed the prophecy to be true because when I urinate it's, it becomes um, a, a very hot and I've also been um, diagnosed with ulcers for some time back. So that is why I had a problem. How did it affect you? It has affected me because as a man of God working in ministry, I could not um, fast and engage in fastings while other men of people are fasting in the church, yes. It, it, it also affected me in terms of commitment in the church of, because I, I always had to be 
indulging in food even when we have to be working. How are you feeling right now? As the man of God was talking to me, I was feeling very hot in my stomach, but now it's fine. I'm feeling fine. Thanks. I'm healed, yeah.